Hey, what up, what up? Just want to make a quick video. I um, just want to give my quick analysis, prediction on this Ryan Garcia fight versus um, Devin Haney. Um, you know, there's been a lot of talks, especially primarily on Ryan Garcia's side and is he prepared with all, with all these antics he's doing? Is he really... Is he going to show up to the fight? Um, is he going to quit? You know, all this kind of stuff, man. Um, him showing up overweight, three pounds overweight. Drinking beard, all that kind of stuff on the scales. I'm going I'm to I'm be honest. Um, it's interesting to see, definitely. But um, I'm not really taking that kind of stuff um into my prediction really too much um i'm not letting that kind of drive what i think is going to happen in the fight um it is interesting just to, to tell you the truth uh, to say the least but i'll be honest i still think <clears throat> the fight is going to go on to materialize how it would have or is going to be whether he was doing those things or not. Um, now, whether he's doing to promote the fight or not to promote the fight, I don't know and I don't care too much. I think this is a very, still a very great, great fight to see. Um, and um, I actually think people saying it won't be competitive. Um, it's hard for me to tell. It's, it's, it's really hard for me to tell how competitive it will be. But um, I do think... I'm going to say it is going to be competitive. Um, and especially depending on how long it goes. Do I see the fight going all 12 rounds? It's hard to tell, man. It's hard to tell, man, because... Devin Haney doesn't give me too much hope of him even knocking him down or even stopping him. He doesn't give me too much hope because based on his last fight with Regis Pro Greg, like he showed me that he doesn't have a really killer instinct in him. You know what I'm saying? He showed me he doesn't have a killer instinct in him. So that really rubbed me the wrong way. Had he stopped Regis Pro Greg his last fight, had he stopped him, then I will have a more concise, give a concise answer whether he would or would not, would or would not stop Ryan Garcia. I do believe that he can hurt Ryan Garcia. Okay, that's I'm gonna put that on, on the record for just for the record. I do think Ryan, I'm, I'm definitely he can hurt Ryan Garcia based off his last fight with Regis Progray. He showed me that he, him going up and weight. With a little more size on, a little more energy, he can hurt guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I do think he can hurt Ryan Garcia. I just don't know if he's willing to do that. You get what I'm saying? It's been too, too long since Devin Haney has, has, hasn't had, like, a knockout or more or less a knockdown. It's only been recently since his last fight a couple months ago he's had a knockdown for the first time in like five years. And so he doesn't give me too much hope in just going out on a limb and really trying to hurt and stop Ryan Garcia. He can't do with the, the small Lomachenko or Cambosis. So it doesn't really his track record record is not is not there for that. But I won't be surprised if he hurts Ryan Garcia and puts him down. I won't be surprised because Ryan Garcia has shown to be, I don't want to say chinny, but he's he has been hurt not only by Geronte Davis, but even um, Luke Campbell was at 135. And I know I, I can't measure, I don't want to say that Luke Campbell can't punch, but I, I don't know him to be a big puncher. So, and he's at 135 small weight division so being at a, being that is at a higher weight division I, I don't want to say I, I do believe Devin Kahane can, can hurt 
Omar Ingram said. It's just the question is, is he willing to? Is he willing to go out and do that? I know Ryan Garcia is willing to hurt and try to hurt um, Devin Haney, and I know he has the power to do to do so. It's just the, the question is, can he find the boxing ability to make that happen? You get what I'm saying? And so, um, I do believe this this fight goes on 12, and I'm a favor. I'm definitely favorite Devin Haney because he's just a better boxer. He's more dynamic. He has a lot more things he can do in that boxing ring. And Devin and Ryan cannot fight on his on his um back foot effectively. And you saw that in his last fight. And you can't learn how to do certain things just in with the one training camp, especially against an elite fighter like Devin Haney. So he's still gonna have fight trouble fighting on the back foot. But that's if Devin's willing to push the fight and pressure. Ryan Garcia, you get what I'm saying? And if he wants to pressure Ryan Garcia, that might favor Ryan Garcia as well. You get what I'm saying? Even though he'll be on his back foot, but it will, it can kind of force the, the fight to be in a phone booth. Because if he's seeing Ryan Garcia, if he see Devin Haney's pressing forward, he's, he might want to press forward too. You get what I'm saying? Devin Haney's not really a pressure fighter too. He's not like a um, Oscar Duarte. You know what I'm saying? He's not really a pressure fighter. Although he can press the fight, but he's not a pressure fighter. You get what I'm saying? And so... Him finding on the back foot... I don't know if that's... Something Devin is going to be willing to do. And if he does, it's only, it's only going to be in spurts more so. Not like Oscar Duarte when he's pressing you the whole fight. You get what I'm saying? It's not gonna be like that. That's not his style. You get what I'm saying? And so I see the fight. I see the fight going on 12, especially if if Ryan can't land something significant, can't make some shape. You get what I'm saying? Um, if there is a knockout, I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna give that in favor of Ryan Garcia. If there's a knockdown, it can it could be either or. It could be either or. You get what I'm saying? But if there's a knock knockout, like a stoppage, like a like a you know crazy punch, is is gonna be on Ryan. It's gonna be favored in Ryan. Um, I do favor Damon Haney to win this fight all in a 12 round uh, decision. But I still think it'll be competitive. For some reason, something tells me it still will be, will be competitive. I'm not going to. Mind the antics. I'm not going to give that any mind. I'm not going to mind him being three pounds overweight. Um, I just think that's just. I think the best thing I could say, come to mind, is to sell the fight. You get what I'm saying? I just don't think that's to. Um, I don't think that's going to affect the fight. All the antics, all the drinking, and all the you know alleged drinking or whatever, whether you was or not, I don't think that's going to affect the fight. I don't. Um, although he's much more limited than Devin Haney, you could be a limited, a more limited fighter and still make the fight a tough fight, a tough, grueling, tough fight for the person. Ryan has speed in his hands. He has, he has speed and power. You get what I'm saying? Um, so was Devin. Devin has speed. He might not have the power that, that, um, Ryan has, but he has speed. He can match speed with Ryan. He might not. He can match speed with Ryan. Trust me. And he has quicker feet. So that's another thing. That's something that Tank had in his favor as well. Tank had speed and he had quick feet, quick hand. I mean, quick on feet. Same thing with Devin. And so you go on. You look at a fight where it's gonna be. <clears throat> A lot of decisions are going to be made just by split seconds because they're both really fast. You get what I'm saying? You know, Ryan maybe uh, have you know maybe he has a you know faster hand speed, but that doesn't mean anything. It's not by much. <laughs> if he does, it's not really by much. We're not talk. We're not talking about like something astro astronomical. We're splitting hairs when we talk about speed. So, 
I'm a favor Devin in a 12 round decision. Um, I just think he's just better all around. But I do think it'll be I think I think it'll be close fight. It'll be somewhat of a eight four kind of situation, seven five kind of situation in favor of Devin. Like I said, you don't have to be the most skilled fighter to make a, a tough fight. To make it good. I think Ryan is 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 good enough to make it competitive and interesting. But I think Devin's just gonna edge out just 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 a little bit. He's just gonna be a little too much skilled. The body shots, the the, the pivoting, the the, the 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 footwork. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna that's what's that's what's gonna make it better. When Ryan, when occasionally when Devin will step on the on on the front foot and try to pressure him, and Ryan can't really don't have the educated feet to necessarily to evade certain things. I think that's gonna be in Devin's favor. He's gonna be winning in those kind of situations. Um, I think his jab. His jab is definitely gonna is gonna give Dev, um, Ryan some problems because ja Ryan is not really a jabber. Even though he does use it, he doesn't use it consistently enough for something to be a muscle memory for him in a fight. You know what I'm saying? And so that's gonna be a problem for Ryan. But um, Ryan, you never know. Ryan can land certain significant punches. You never know that can really change the fight. That could be significant. Don't be surprised if Ryan land anything crazy and. Trust me, they're gonna respect each other in that ring. And so, <sighs> the fight is gonna be competitive. Uh, it's it's gonna be a lot more competitive than what people think. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, I just favor Devin just slightly because he's just more dynamic. He's, he's just more dynamic fighter, bro. He's more dynamic. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be 8-5. There's gonna be 8-4, 7-5 kind of situation. Um, I'm looking forward to it. It's it's a big fight, man. It's a big fight. Um, we'll see who's tough. Let's see who. Let's see who can really dig deep and who's tough out here in the in, in this in this in this particular bout. Let's see who's who's who's, who's tough. You know what I'm saying? It, it might come down down to that too as well. If it if it, it becomes a, a phone booth or phone booth kind of situation when they find out the inside. And let's see if if Devin wants to press. I know I know Ryan's going to press. The way Ryan pressed. Tank Davis, I'm pretty sure he's gonna. There's gonna be a moment to fight when he does that to Devin, and I want to see how Devin deals with that. You never know. Left hooks, he's really fast. Anything can go. Anything can go. Um, I won't be surprised. But please like, comment, subscribe. Styles makes fights, man. Styles makes fights, man. All right, man.